you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grace. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's give Brother Wayne the great beginning. You know, a lot's been said tonight, and I will have them in Florida. You know, today I was sitting there at the computer, <coughs> watching the TV, listening to them talk, and they was talking about uh, different things, you know, about this shooting. They was Amen. talking, we need gun control. I said, no, what we need to do Come is on. get some Holy Ghost filled preachers, men and women of God, to anoint them schools and walk down them hallways. And cast them demons out of them schools. And if there's kids there, has got them. Cast them out of them. And if the teachers are there, has got them. Cast them out of them. Amen. It's time the church stand up as Brother David said. We take back what is ours. And all the time, them brethren Hebrews, he 
Hebrew were slain. They were in bondage. Right. Being whipped. Right. Beat. Right. Building up the kingdom of Pharaoh. You know, but one day Moses, while he was in that country, come on, he looked up on that mountaintop and he seen that burning bush. Yeah, Lord. Yeah. And he went up there that burning bush. Yeah. Uh -huh. That burning bush told him to put his shoes off. Uh, I'm paraphrasing. Those ain't the exact words he said. Yeah. You read it. And uh, Moses couldn't talk real good. That's right. Help him, Lord. He couldn't talk too plain. <coughs> Come on, brother Wayne. Come on. I told Moses to go get his children. Yes. To leave him out of bondage. Leave him out. Help him, Lord. Moses said, Lord, who should I say sent me? Uh -huh. He said, You tell him. I am that I am. Right. He said, Lord, but I don't talk. He said, take your brother. Right. He said, Joseph will be there too to help you. Yeah. Friend. Yeah, Lord. Moses come back. Yeah. And they don't already know that he had died. Yeah, Lord. And then his son took over. Uh-huh. You know? And Moses kept pleading with him, let his children go. Uh -huh. To let his people go. Right. Friend, they were still in bondage. Moses kept pleading for them. Help him, Lord. Finally. Help him, Jesus. Come on, he had heart and heart, God had. Yes, he had. He had hardened his heart, brother. Help him, Lord. And God told Moses. He said, You take and watch that moon. Uh -huh. You take the youngest calf or the firstborn calf, I forget which one it was. <laughs> and you paint that blood over that mirror post. Uh -huh. As that moon goes. Help him, Lord. As that cloud goes, you paint it that way. And when death passes by, man, it won't take your first one. That's right. Yep, so they did as they told. And they heard. You know, you could more than likely they, they heard them yep, hollering and screaming. They said, that's breath left my child. Yeah, yep. That's death came on the scene to them. That's right. And you could probably hear them screaming. Yep, and all of a sudden, you know, I can imagine no thing, bro. Here comes his wife. Jesus. And his son is dead. Yep. And Pharaoh says, My God's able to deliver him. Amen. To bring him back alive. Uh -huh. Didn't do it, brother David. It didn't work. God had hardened his heart. Yes, he did. And finally, he let his children go. And then people wondered in the wilderness for 40 years. Yes. Not all of them went over, brother David. Help him, Lord. I can see Moses as he's standing there at the Red Sea. Yeah. And the end, he's right there chasing them, brother David. Come on. Lord. And God's right there between the enemy and them. Come on. And he's got that shield of safety around. Right? Yes. Help him, Lord. And I begin to see that water roll back. And they begin to step over on dry land. Uh-huh. Could you imagine walking around on that dry land? Looking to the right, maybe seeing a shark swimming in that water. Yeah. Seeing a whale swimming in that water. Yeah. An octopus swimming in that water. And yeah. here you are going to it. Thinking, my Lord. Moses surely does have a real God. Amen. A living God of all. See, Moses led him out of the wilderness, out of, out of the Egypt. But he didn't take him to the promised land. No. He did not take him to the promised land. No. Joseph led him the rest of the way into the promised land. But God buried Moses. Man. You imagine being buried the, buried the God. Come on. Come on. You say, what's that got to do with bondage? See, Moses was a regular man like you and I. That's right. But he was a godly man, if you go back and read it. Right. The Bible plainly tells you he was a godly man. Yes. 
Today, friend, we have a man that will not only lead us out of bondage, he'll not only take us through the wilderness, right. but he'll carry us on through the other side. Come on. Come on. He didn't die in pain for nothing. Come on. And I believe with all my heart that you and I are going to see him very soon. Uh -huh. I believe it as if tomorrow the sun is going to come up in the morning. I believe that, Brother David. Yeah, come on. We've allowed too much. The church has took a back seat to sin. Right. The church is on the back seat and sin's on the front seat. Sin's in the pulpit. Amen. Right. Come here and give me your dollar and everything's fine. Right. You come here and I'll teach you just talk in tongues. You tie your tie and I'll tie my bow tie. Yeah, right? come on. You say you're making fun of the people? No. No. I'm going to tell you. No. That's the devil out there. Right. He ain't doing nothing but coming to try to steal you uh -huh. and to drag you into the pits of hell with him. Yeah. See, his preacher's already written, friend. Oh. Here's the night yet to come. We go over the cross. Here's the night that's never waiting for us. All we got to do is hold on that cross. Get a hold of it and hold on like there's no yeah. tomorrow. No matter what comes your way. That kid just sent to us lined up, friend. Back. Not comes for the seven to the earth. Jesus kept that fine. Yeah. He's going to catch it for you. Yeah. Come on. You say, Wayne, well, hey, Brother David mentioned the Rago about these people in town. City Council about the needles. Uh huh. I told him, I said, I voted for two or three of them. One abstained from the vote. I said, Well, they lost my vote mm -hmm. for yeah. re election. Yeah, and then there's so one. Voting in favor of it. I said, well, you ain't getting it either. Right. You say you're going to stay at home? I think I'm going to go vote for the ones that voted against you. Both that voted for it. They ain't getting one heart's vote. That's right. You say, how you know who voted for it? Friend, I watched it. Say it on TV. You can read it in paper too. Who voted for it? Who voted against it? Sin is running crazy with this land today. Right. This world is becoming so ungodly right. it ain't funny. Right? Yeah. You say, what's ungodly, right. way? I said, well, I'm glad you asked me that. Help him, Lord. See, I looked that up today. Uh-huh. Friend, you'll be surprised what you'll find. Help him, Lord. Ungodly sins, very religious or right. immoral. Right. Ungodly lies of self-obsession. Yeah. Lust and pleasure. Yep. Unholy. Right. Godliness. Right. Corrupt. Yep. Depraved, sinful, wicked, evil, profane, and wrong. Inquitious, which means grossly unfair and morally wrong. Right. And impimpus, which means not showing respect, especially for God. Amen. Friend, you tell me. If we're not living in an ungodly world today, come on. Amen. Amen. We sure ain't living in a godly one. Right. Amen. You know, you look at the world today, a lot of them profess to be Christians. But 99.9% of them ain't. That's right. Just because you call yourself one, don't make you one. That's right. You know, you like an old pig in the hole pen, right? You can clean that pig up. Make him look pretty. Yeah. Take him to the fair. Yeah. Bring him back home. You know what he's going to do? Like he's going to run back to that hall and get all money. Yep. Yeah. Like that love the way he means. Because he loves it. That's right. Mm -hmm. And because that's the only way to keep going. Because they have my sweet hands. Uh, Just a little extra tip. Yeah, we need more God fearing men. Right. God fearing women in this world today. Right. Right. Brother David said he's been having some dreams. Wait until I tell you some of mine one of these days. Yeah, Just Lord. recently, since we've opened this church, I've been had three dreams about something. Uh huh. Yeah, good Lord. And friend, 
me, David, nor God is going to need y'all's prayers and what comes to pass in these dreams. Uh -huh. You say, why? Because I'm telling you, we're stirring up a hornet's nest. Amen. And the devil don't like it. Amen. Amen. And we don't care if he kills every cow in Texas. And if the hair lifts the devil and the devil's mom, friend. Right. We're going to stand for the word of God. Oh. We're going to call free and free. Right, man. Long road. And we're going to rally to find that word of God. Amen. We're not going to tell you you can go to church Sunday morning. Right. Stay home Sunday night with the Super Bowl. Right. Bless the Lord. And don't bother coming Wednesday night, mid service. Or Thursday night in our case. Yeah. We're going to tell you that if you take you go Friday night to that bar. Right. And you decide to go Saturday night again to that bar. Yeah, Lord. And then you think you're going to get up Sunday morning and come to church. Right. And lift them hands and praise the living God. Right. Friend, yep. you ain't doing nothing but mocking God. Right. And you know what he's doing? He's sitting up there like he is. He's got his little pencil. Yeah. And he's keeping a record. Come on. He's keeping a record of everything we do. We don't have to be in bondage. Right. We don't have to let the devil keep us under our foot. Right. Under his foot. Right. This time we put him under our foot. Right. And we keep him there. And we know his place right It's time we put him under our foot. This time we stand up. Come out from amongst. That's right, sister. Come out from amongst. Be that city on a hill. Yeah. That shines bright. Yes. Come on. And as the flame flickers, lift that brother up. Yeah. As Moses did, was yeah. lifted up by hands of Moses in the fire. Yeah. Hold your hands up and say, Lord, bless you. Come on, fight that battle that you're going yeah. The thing is coming against the church, and we don't know nothing about it. Come on. You know it, Lord. Six messages this morning. I mean, the word today was over with. Happy Lord. I said, you know what you're gonna preach? I said, honestly, I pulled in here in the driveway. That's my witness. She testified. I said, man, I'm nervous. <laughs> I am. Bless you, Lord. I was. Happy Lord. When I get like that, I know God's gonna do something. Come on. Yeah. I wasn't down, God. I was believing in God. Come on. Because He's never let me down. Amen. He's never failed me. I may have failed you. I may have turned to walk away from him, Brother David. Come on. But I know where that cross was. Right. And I know my way back home, friend. Amen. Like that rich man's boy. Yep. I walked in sin a little while. Yep. But I know my way back home. Yes. As Charles Johnson sings, child, it's time to come back home. Yeah, right. And it was time for Wayne to come back home that time. Yeah. And you know what? Thanks be to God, I ain't wandered astray. Yeah, right. Lord. I ain't wandered off to the left. And I ain't wandered off to the right. I've stayed that straight and narrow path to the best of my ability. I may have stumbled. I may have failed. But God brought me out of bondage, friend. And he set my feet upon a rock to stay. Amen. Come on. And when he did that, happy, Lord. if he don't do nothing else for me, I'll be happy. Come on. Because I know what waits for me on the other side. I've got a loving spirit. I long for the day to touch him. I long for the day to touch him. Yeah. That's far hands. To kiss that feet. To kiss his feet. I said, I'm going to stroll on down. Because I've got little ones there I want to see. But it's going to take a little while. Right. But me and his are going to talk a little while. Yeah. I might even stop and talk to the apostles. Yeah. Might even talk to Brother Paul, Brother David. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Say, so, Paul, how did it be found in prison for the work, for the work and for the Lord that you did? Uh-huh. How did it be blinded and 
God to deliver you. Man, help the Lord. So what made you run so fast that chopping block? Do you ever want to chop? Be hedgy. He said, the more life is that way. He said, I'd run my race. Right. And I'd fall it well. Yeah. Remember right. the time of coming that you and I may have to take that same path. Right. I'm here to tell you today. Get real now, ain't it? Mm, yeah. 
saying that, I sat there by his bed. I got up and sat by his bed in, a, in his recliner. His bed was right here. I was sitting right here. And he was sitting there and he was moaning a little bit. Uneasy, I guess from the cancer and stuff. And all of a sudden, friend, come here, Brother David. no longer down here going through the wilderness. Help him, Lord. Like you and I are. Right. right. Friend, tonight, if you're troubled, see, I didn't even read my scriptures. Y'all forgive me, I said it was. But I believe in the mind of the Lord. Amen. Friend, tonight, if you're in bondage, whether you be here, or whether you be in the live stream, or the internet. I pray that something I said tonight has helped you. I pray that you take things seriously. Time's running out. You know, I don't have no kids in school no more. But I got two little girls. Friends. I got a friend that's got two little girls. They're precious to me. Uh -huh. And they call me Paul. Bless the Lord. And something them two little girls. I know I'd make it. But you see, their mom and daddy's lost. That's right. That's right. And I pray that they come to their senses one day. And it's not too late. And they let God deliver them out of the bondage that they're in. Yeah, the two little girls. The youngest one, she came over and got my lap a while back, a couple years ago. Melted my heart. I was sitting at the computer. She came over and she said, Paul. I said, yes, dear. She said, Paul, you're my best friend. Mm -hmm. Bring that out of my heart. I cry. But I'm going to tell you something. Her best friend is Jesus tonight. Amen. And Jesus can be your best friend. Sorry, he can be your shield when the enemy comes against you. All you've got to do is call on him. See, the Hebrew children, they were in bondage. They were being whipped and everything done to them that was ungodly. And if they got killed while they was doing the work, they didn't stop the move to bury them, they just kept on working. They, they, they uh, I'm going to share this with you and then I'm going to sit down. Said they sighed a while, brother David. Said they felt a deep yearning for someone or something that was unattainable or distant. They yarned for, longed for, pined for, creed for, cried for, over, weep for, and over, mourned for, landed, 
and hankered for or after someone to deliver them out of bondage, friend. We don't have to do nothing. All we've got to do is call out on Jesus to deliver us out of bondage. This didn't go the way that I had it planned or that God dealt with me with on earlier. But He knows what needs to be said. Not. Fred, if you've got anything in your life tonight that you think will going to hinder you from making a hit in your home, you examine yourself and you make sure you go out them doors. Amen. Because you're not guaranteed to get home. Amen. You're not guaranteed to get home. You search your life tonight. And you ask God to show you the person you're thinking of. And if there is, you ask Him to help you get rid of it. Because you and I are about to take a journey. That's right. And it's not going to be long. Friend, Jesus is coming. You say, friend, I've heard it all my life. Well, I'll be honest with you, I've heard it most of mine too. But I've seen Jesus come. I've seen him come and take a loved one by the way to pray. See, he's not just coming back in the cloud for the night. Right. He can come and send death. I'm in our doorsteps to get us. The main thing is, friend, when he does come, whether it be by the way of the grave, or him coming in the clouds, as a 